Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorial. You are watching Mainframe Tutorial JCL Part 11. So, in this video, I would like to share the information regarding conditional parameter. That is a cond parameter. So, this is very very important uh, while working in a JCL. This plays a very key role in the real time uh, when uh, when you are coding in a JCL. I mean jobs. So. So I hope this will be very, very useful to all whoever is watching this video. So let's go ahead and start with the details about this conditional parameter. What is exactly a conditional parameter? A candy C O N D cond is a keyword parameter used to control the execution of the steps. Right? It consists of written code, relational operator, and an activity. Relational operator can be like uh, equal to, less than less than or equal to greater than or equal to greater than and not equal to so written code expected written code can be 04 08 12 and so on up to 4095 we can code the current parameter at job and also at activity level so there are various different kinds of uh, things i mean sorry different ways of representing the current parameter that is at job and activity level if current coded at uh, job level applicable to all the activities in that particular job so for example you are having 10 steps in that particular job uh, so if you are writing a current parameter at the job level so that current parameter is applicable to enter all these steps or all the 10 steps or 10 activities at that particular job so based on the scenarios or situation so or based on the requirements you can choose where you want to code this current parameters either activity level or at the job level so if cunt is coded at activity level applicable to only that particular activity or that particular step okay let's see in a note so in the note is like if the cunt specified condition in the step is false then that step or activity is executed if the condition is true then that activity or step is bypassed I mean this is mainly coded based on the situation so when we go and look into the examples then it, you will get clarified when to use conditions and what when to use written code and uh, what the, what is the step uh, we need to use okay syntax uh, there are uh, there are four ways of representing the current parameter one is like cond equal to written code i mean on relational operator so this is one way and another is uh, cond equal to only it means that it is to execute subsequent activities when previous activities terminated abnormally so you can use cond equal to only in this situation that is it is to execute subsequent activities when previous activities terminated abnormally or else you can use cond equal to even it is to execute subsequent activity when previous activity terminated either normally or abnormally so next is cond equal to written code comma or relational operator and an activity name so these are the four, four different ways of representing uh, con parameters so now let's go ahead and see the examples so the first example is uh, cunt using a uh, job card level using a job card level so how do we use it so this is my job card and i'm using con equal to four chroma greater than symbol so these are the four steps by default if you are coding this con parameter the step one will be executed so it won't look for any condition or anything so the by default step one is executed without any conditions so based on the written code uh, you receive from this uh, from this part uh, step one so the next action will be taken so in the above if you see here if step one written code is less than four then step two will be bypassed and if it is greater than four then it will run the step two that is and so on I and mean, I mean, uh, the same step will be applicable uh, to step 3 step 4 and step 5 by default so it, uh, the condition is set for all these three four steps so note coding condition at activity level is applicable to all uh, I mean sorry at job level is applicable to all the steps it should be job uh, okay so this is at current using a job card level and uh, we will see uh, different scenarios where we use uh, activity I mean the current parameter at activity level so I categorize into your different uh, scenarios so first we will see uh, the first scenarios like run the step when previous step is successful okay how do we code it 
So you can see you have step one, you have totally of five steps and the five step is uh, associated with individual programs. So in step two, I'm coding it as current equal zero four comma less than. So I as I told run the step with when previous step is successful. It means it, it mostly if I code zero four comma less than it means that obviously that uh, step one is trying to return a code uh, zero zero that is right so if it is not if it is more than four obviously it will be bypassed so I'm trailing based on the success then only you uh, you have to run this step so if it is zero then it will this step will gets executed so in the same way it's step three in step three uh, I'm coding it as zero four less than step two so if it is uh, if this particular step is less than zero four then only execute this particular step or else you bypass it so there are two ways of uh, coding uh, current parameters one is zero four less than by without not specifying the spec step name so if you wa if you are trying to depend on sp particular step so you can give this particular step so that it will check for the return code of that particular step so in real time how would be the scenarios would be like you have uh, 10 to 12 steps okay so that the first step is like uh, uh, copying a file and uh, second step is like uh, read a file uh, read a file from the copied file and uh, create uh, and update the file okay update the file and next step would be uh, you copy again the updated file to another file okay so uh, I would be c a code uh, trying to code a condition like so if step one I mean if the step one uh, su is successful in copying a file then only you have to update the program I mean read the program and update the particular table if that particular table is successfully updated then only execute a next step so in that way so with the based on the logic or based on the scenarios uh, different scenarios you get so you'll be using this particular current parameter so this is the situation one the next situation is run the step when previous text is un unsuccessful it is quite opposite so you have same five steps so in this uh, if current equal to zero four greater than greater than or equal to four so it will obviously bypass it okay next step will be run the step if previous steps is success or unsuccess so how do you code it so you can code it this is simple so run the step if previous step is success or unsuccess so you have five steps step one uh, program one and step two zero zero or greater than if the kind if you are getting uh, if you if the program one anyway if it is throwing an error i mean if, if it is having zero four zero eight or anything four zero nine five whatever the return code it is but you have to compulsory execute this particular step so in that in order to do that what you do you have to code can equal to zero zero greater than zero actually the return code starts from zero zero right so it condition or else you can code another condition like can equal to four zero fine and less than so in that also you can execute this particular step so this is run the step if previous step is success or unsuccess okay never run the steps if previous step is success or another just simply you wanted to you don't want to run a particular steps so so you have uh, 12 or 13 steps so as part of testing just you want to test only step one and step five or uh, only a few selected steps you want to step it and remaining you don't want to run it so simply what are the steps you don't want to uh, run it or test it just simply give this condition can 0 0 comma le or else you can give can z 4 0 5 9 greater than so simply it bypasses I mean it won't execute these particular steps and it will uh, try to run the remaining other steps so this will be very much for helpful when you're trying to do any testings uh, when you're trying to test your JCL where you have multiple steps so these are the multiple ways or different scenarios where you might be coming across while working on a JCL using current parameters I'm saying it this is very very important it just where you you try to practice it differently you take uh, 10 or uh, five, um, minimum 5 to 10 steps and uh, try to make use of these different kind of current parameters and also use current what happens you when you work with only and what happens with the even 
and uh, activity name try to change the activity name you have 10 10 activities or 10 steps give the written code of step 5 uh, step 5 activity name and try try differently so this way uh, this video ends it so i will be coming up with more different videos on the jcl so we have a lot more things to do on the jcl so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video kindly please share comment or subscribe uh, subscribe to my youtube ch uh, youtube channel so thank you so much for watching have a great and pleasureful day